All right, peoples, I'm gonna do my altar tour video now. So here's my altar from kind of far away. See, I mean, see, I have, I have crap all up and down my walls. Not part of the altar, but confusing nonetheless. So let's zoom in. All right, so obviously I have lots of big pieces of amethyst. I kind of like the darker ones myself personally, like this one right here. That one's my absolute favorite because it's nice and dark and deep, deep colors, deep ridges. I like it. It's cool. My Athene right here. My mom actually got this for me in Scotland. She probably had zero idea what I would use it for, but you know, that's the thing. Uh, so, eh, eh, try not to cut myself and put it back. All right. And I have some little obsidian arrowheads. I actually work in a museum. And there's a Native American aspect to it, but they sell these little arrowheads. And so I went in and picked a few one day. So I have four of them. They're pointing north, south, east, and west, uh, according to my little compass that I use. Got my red and black candles. You can't see, there's rumbles all the way down. Uh, right now, I have offering of some rainwater. We just had a, well, not rainwater, thunderstorm water. We just had a pretty rad thunderstorm. <clears throat> so I collected some water. And, uh, then some Parmesan cheese. So I um, love cheese. It's my absolute favorite. And since the Morgan is an Irish goddess and the Irish, <clears throat> I guess, uh, were all about the cow. They were a cattle community, cattle people. I thought cheese was appropriate. And I just made a big bunch of stuffed shells. And I just thought, you know what? I would share the love with the Morgan. Got a few more big chunks of amethyst like amethyst points back here and this there's three of them you can see them across the back those are actually garnets that I dug myself at a gem mine uh, about three hours away from my house and it was a super cool experience and they they polish them up they said they would cut them also but I, I, I like them like this just raw rough cool garnet you know and I didn't want to make jewelry out of them because I knew I'd want them on my altar because I magically found three, of course. Um, so that's cool. Uh, then, oh, back here, I have my little incense. And the reason I have it back there is only because, like, look at this. It looks cool. Coming up behind the, the statuette that I have. So, and that is a Palo Santo uh, cone. And I'm completely obsessed with them right now. So uh, I've been burning them almost nonstop. I even have an, uh, an unburned one sitting on my desk at work because I'm just so obsessed with them. I can't burn it at work, obviously. But, um, yeah. So then, of course, we have my, my Morgan statue. Um, I have considered painting it. Um, not that I don't like the red and brownish, blackish kind of uh, thing. But I kind of wanted to maybe make it not more personable, but just how I see her a bit more and I don't I, I still haven't decided if I'm gonna do it or not I still might um so it's the coolest thing in the world this uh thing up here the the crow and let me show you what I do with it this is my dedicated my Morgan ring like my dedicated piece of jewelry that I wear every day and if I feel kind of like meh then I charge it there uh overnight during you know full moon new moon whatever and then put it back on and feel all smashing the next day. And this is a, just a little kind of decor like thing, prayer bead thing. I don't really use it for prayer beads, but it's kind of one of those things. See so the little skulls, I can't really see, stupid iPhone camera thing. There are little skulls and then some black, um, just a black glass. And then this muted red glass seed beads. Um, there's, there's nine of them and in between there are nine red beads. Unfortunately, because of math, you had to have two of the black beads on each side. So there's 18 of those, but, um, I just went with my three and nine thing with the Morgan, uh, on that, uh, if I want to back out of, I have this cool selenite lamp that I found at home goods, which is super rad. And, uh, this is, uh, this little picture back here is one of my kids drew that. And I mean, I have other stuff up here. My kids did, but that one, I mean, it's just pencil 
on paper and it looks like scribbles but to me there was something so cool about it like so like dark about it that I decided to back up my altar with it and then over here I have this you know it's a little day of the dead incense burner thing you can't even see the skull for all the ash um, a little salt crystal candle holder this winter is coming how stark cross stitch thing that my friend made me which is badass it's so amazing and anyone who does that much work on something for me is a true motherfucking friend so there's my altar tour um, my witchy room is you know fully stocked with crazy pants stuff because I'm that kind of person oh these are all like other roller derby type stuff uh, so I'll do a full tour, maybe not during this 33 days with the Morgan, but, uh, that is my altar. Oh, completely forgot. Uh, these little stones down here, uh, the little blue stone, I'm not a hundred percent what it was, but, um, a guy that I know who is a shaman who performed, um, <clears throat> a shamanic cleansing on me to help me get rid of some self doubt type stuff. Not too long ago. He gave me that little blue stone. And so put it on your altar that uh, you don't ever have to do anything else with it. Just put it on your altar and, you know, have a good old time. And then that snowflake obsidian and then a piece of uh, jet over there. And those two, the snowflake obsidian and the jet, those are my derby day stones. So I put them inside of the little sections of my sports bra where, like, it would be under my arm. So those are kind of like my Derby Day crystal talismans. And um, luckily, you don't fall that often on your side, like under your armpit. So it doesn't like get smashed into my body or anything. But anyway, again, I'll end this up. There's my altar. There's my stuff. Oh, there's my little cup of milk because it's morning. And um, yeah, into my uh, day five of 33 Days of the Goddess Morgan with an altar tour.